All right, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about reading books and what you should be doing every single time. There's a reason I'm standing over here where I'm at, and you can actually see it in the background. Everybody's running for their lives because bandits patrol right along here, and it, and that's actually where the vendor is. So I'm kind of chilling back here for a moment to see where the bandits end up. Uh, we are in Black Ridge Pool. So, here's Herondine, that's where you start. You can see, I've just, you know, now this is a little twitchy getting to, I'm not going to lie. Black Ridge Pool, you've got especially this bridge getting across that without the patrols getting to it is rough. But once you get here, there's a vendor that sells something you want. And it's something you, yeah, okay, something you need in order to train every book. You should be doing this every single time you train a book. This is your person, not your villagers. So your character, do where'd he go? See, he, even they run away. All right. So what does he have in stock? He for purchase he has apples. They cost three gold. Just buy one. You only need one because they don't last long enough <clears throat> to get through an entire book. Yeah, you can see them on my minimap now. The way you need to do this is you need to have access to this, the travel sign. Make sure you've researched the travel sign. Either bring these materials with you when you're running around. Uh, you can fit enough for one travel sign in your bags. Or you can farm the mats while you're out and about. And then you can put a sign just on the outskirts of each town. That is as close as I could get to Black Ridge Pool. And then we're going to go to another town. And we got to buy a little bit more. But you always want to buy the apple first. And you'll see why in a minute. So you can see how I came down. Went clear down here and I got Horndine, put a sign there, and then I went over this way to Krasmir, and I put a sign there. Krasmir is the key to this. Also, as an aside, there tends to be two crows flying over this area pretty regularly. There's not at the moment. Um, and they're reasonable to shoot down for your feathers. It's yeah, reasonable is relative. So we're going to come in here, and this vendor patrols. He doesn't just stand in one spot. So, I think you can see him now. Yep. So, he'll walk all the way down there and back. Make sure I'm by. And you want two things. You want fish stew for 13. Weird, sometimes he sells it for 15. And cloudberry. This cloudberry literally real time probably doesn't last 15 minutes so you want to make sure you're you have no food or at least one that's about to expire and you're not training because you have very little time on this yes you can save the additional three or five depending on if you how you get it and you can make your own fish too but screw it i'm just gonna buy it that extra gold isn't i don't care so now here's what i've got I have nothing training. I have one book. I'm going to do the agility. That just happens to be what I got. I have 20%. I have 50% and another 20%. I'm going to do these in the order of how long they last. And I want the fish feast to last the longest. So we're going to do apple, then cloudberry, then fish. Now, if I go over here, you can see I've got 50% plus 20% plus another 20%. I have 90% increase in what I train. So when I train this agility, that is 1,500, I'm going to get, I'm doing this on the top of my head, 2,850. And I have verified this. This does work. It's not a, a funny tool tip. You get 90% increase. It does work with the 500 books, and you get 950 instead of 500. I actually thought I was going to pop it, and I did the math wrong, and it is what it is. I'm trying to get that to three. Uh, so train my agility. Now I'm reading my 1500 book that's actually going to end up giving me a huge chunk towards level 7. And you should be doing this every single time. 30 gold is nothing. And once you set up your travel sign, you just travel right on back. Travel wherever you need to. Uh, for those who are unaware, Herondine, the bookseller, is where you get the 500 skill books. Those only require... Actually, they don't require any skill. Uh, you can even do it at level 1. Or level 0, I mean. Padstow, Padstow 
is where you get the level three books. And I wish there were higher level books when you get down to these guys, but there isn't at this time. Maybe that's in the future. Uh, the higher level books just drop. So th just kind of look at this map. This bridge, again, is kind of tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty tricky. Uh, but once you get past all this, drop you a sign for Black Ridge Pool. There's your apple. Uh, hop on down. You might as well put a sign by Horndean while you're coming. And then come over here to Krasmere. And this is where you get the cloudberries and the fish stew for cheap. Now, someone else sells fish stew. I don't remember who it is, but they don't sell it cheap. This guy sells it really cheap. Maybe because they're far away. They're like, I just want to sell something. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.